So dude look at me. He like, tell your brother to up my stuff. I'm like, up what? He like, he know what he got and it ain't his. He like, I'm telling you, it's hot out here. I light this block up. I got people over here that know me. Do you know who I am? So Martin like, I don't know who you is. He like, and I ain't got none of yours. He like, all right, keep talking. He like, you ain't finna go nowhere. He like, I'm finna end up knocking you out. I'm like, hold on, you ain't gonna knock nobody out. He like, try me, test me. I'm like, bro, cause dude looked it like straight crazy, okay? <laughs> all right? He looked it crazy. So it was like, Mark, if you got something, please give it back, all right? We need to go home. Okay, I don't know. Maybe he do know everybody over here. So I'm looking at Mark. I'm like, what do you get? Mark like, I ain't got nothing. So I'm like, bro, dude ain't gonna just say you got some if you ain't got nothing. He like, man, he don't know me. He well and now he crazy beings. So all of a sudden, Mark looked at me. And he like, is it a green? When Mark said that, that let me know that something is up so if you've been following my story time everybody know that that's me and mark panic words okay that's his favorite color my favorite color is red that means if we in a jam or a tight situation and we need to get out of it no matter what it is it can be the worst predicament we have to make sure we get out the jam all right we got to get down how we live so i don't know what's about to happen but i gotta play according to plan so i looked at him i'm like so he looking at me but the look on his face like i got what he's saying that he won't so I looked at him, I say, yeah, it's a red. So dude, like, I don't care if it's a red, green, pink, yellow, purple. All I'm saying is up my stuff before I light this block up. So Mark like, all right, all right, I got you. So Mark pick up his book bag. He act like he finna unzip it, but he broke running. Whew, I'm talking about, shoom. I'm talking about we going this away. Mark hit it. Now, mind you, when we get off the bus, we're supposed to walk straight up, then hit a left, then come up to the stop sign, hit a right, and then walk down the block, and then we at our house. So, Mark went the whole total opposite way. So, dude straight, man, he think I'm playing with him. He kind of pulled his, like, pulled his pants off because it was hanging off his butt. He pulled his pants off because I was still standing up. He started breaking, running behind Mark. So, I'm like, look, if I break running behind dude, you know what I'm saying, like, it makes no sense. So I'm like, I'm just going to run, you know, the opposite way, the actual way and try to bump his. Boom. I run the opposite way. Hit a left. I'm up. It's people outside. It's not. Listen, what I'm telling you is nice outside. It's nice outside. So I'm, people looking at me like, you know, what's going on? As I come up a few blocks, I see Mark on a on the opposite side, but he coming up. So I'm like, no, he better not go to the crib. So I hurried up, boom, I turned left. I'm like, Marque, Marque. So he started running my way, but then I see the, uh, the dude, he end up having somebody else running well. So I'm like, oh snap, this dude do know people. So I'm like, hey, the park, the park. So Mark like, all right, bet. So I'm still running, but I'm keeping straight. Now I got one dude running behind me and me, Mark has split it up with me. We just know we meet up here by the park. So as we split up, I hurry up, I take the dead end, uh, the, the, it's like a half block kind of, you know what I'm saying? I go down there by Darnisha way. So happily Raymond, his brother, you know what I'm saying? They standing out there, my people, you feel me? So they see this dude chasing me. So Raymond like, yo, yo, you good, man? You good? I'm like, no, no, park, park, park. So I'm still running, right? I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to the park now. I'm going through like this little trailway, okay? I can see Mark when I'm coming out the trailway on the opposite side. We get close to the park. Mark gets to the park. He takes the book bag off and he throws it, right? Now, I see the other dude coming across. I'm like, bro, I'm like, what's going on? He's like, no. He's like, let's see what they on. Now, when Mark tossed the book bag, it was like by like the little a bench area. So, you can kind of see it if you're really paying attention, but not really. So, Mark hurried up and ran like a little bit farther down the parkway. So I'm following Mark like, man, I'm like, what we gonna do? So the other dude like, yeah, what's up? He like, I'm telling you, he like, where my stuff at right now? So Mark like, look, he like, I'll one-on-one -on -one both of y'all. So another dude is coming. So I'm like, man, so I'm like, okay, it's just two of us. But now I see Raymond and Raymond friend 
they coming up there. So I say, they go Raymond. So he like, all right, he like, we can throw down right here. We can throw down right here. I'm like, look, my brother said he ain't getting it. He like, I saw him. So Mark like, you ain't see me take nothing. You ain't see me take nothing. So dude like, look, I beat it up out of you. I'm like, you're not touching my brother. So Raymond like, hey, hey, hey. He like, we got static. We got static. So now it's, it's about to be a whole throwdown. It's about to be a whole show. So the other guy pulls up, right? I guess that was their mans. I don't know what's happening, but I know people are pulling up. So I don't know if they was running and calling people. But dude, when he said that he knew people over there, oh yeah, he knew people over there. So I thought that me bumping into Raymond, it was going to bring like some extra static. Oh no, dude coming with the heavy artilleries. He coming with extra people just pulling up at the park and not letting us move. So I'm like, Mark, if you get some, just give it to him. So Raymond like, hey, yo, he like this side area. He like, I ain't never seen you up here before. He like, look, this dude took some of mine. Can you please tell him to give it to me? He like, I don't want to hurt little dude. So Mark like, man, I'll fight all y'all. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm like, just chill. We ain't fight nobody. So he like, he ain't got nothing. He like, all right. So the dude busts out to say, do you got $3,000? I'm like, three? We ain't get no, I'm like, no. I'm like, we ain't got no $3,000. So the uh, dude said he had a book bag. Where's book bag? So Mark like, man, I threw the book bag away. So he like, you know you get it. You know you get it. I'm like, I don't get it. So, so happily, here come the police just happen to be just driving around that block. And then another undercover cops in the dicks, you know what I'm saying, come driving. So they looking. They try to share away. So we shade away. So the police comes, park right there. They just parking. You know what I'm saying? They ain't coming to mess with us. They're just parking and just watching. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that was just their spot, but that was like a saver. So Mark was like, <laughs> he like, they go to the police. You want to go ask where the bag at? I'm like, come on, let's go. He like, we go ask the police. So they was walking. I'm like, Mark, stop. He like, no. He said, they, they bought their stuff. I'm like, let's go. I'm like, Raymond, thank you. So Raymond like, you know, I already know I got your bag. He like, what happened? I'm like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I just got off the bus. I'm like, I'm gonna let you know though. He like, all right. He like, you want us to walk into the crib? I'm like, no, we should be straight. He like, no, nah, we walking you. So him and his friend end up, you know what I'm saying? Walking me and Mark. So Mark stick at the bag. So boom, we get like a couple of houses down. Raymond and they finally turn around. So I'm like, stop. I'm like, what did you take of this? He like, look, he unzipped this book bag. It was a, okay. So it was a a grocery store plastic bag it was this dude's cell phone money and a whole bunch of zaza but they was like those nuggies you know like the nuggets that and it was a lot it was a like a, a like a little shopping grocery bag and i'm like bro i'm like you better hope that i'm like come on let's go in the house so i grabbed him boom we went in the house now mind you we a little late because normally we beat my mom home but my mom Caleb, my dad is there. You know what I'm saying? He just really get off work. My dad is there. So my mom like, where y'all been? I'm like, oh, um, we had to make a stop. Something happened. So she say, okay, what happened? I'm like, uh, down the street. It was like polices and stuff. They had bl blocked everything off. We had to walk all the way around. She like, we, we just left from out there five minutes ago. All of a sudden something happened that quick. I'm like, uh yeah she like if y'all up to anything i'm telling you roadie doty you've been doing good you let you be sleeping out on the porch with him that's what's gonna end up happening i'm like yeah she like i thought you had a game today i'm like i do got a game today i'm like um i'm going i, I want to grab some stuff i'm going back to go practice she said okay just make sure you dot this door right on time when do the game end i'm like uh i don't know like in two or three hours she said okay well make sure you back i'm like okay mom so boom Mark goes to his room. I go downstairs with Mark. So Mark like, well, I'm going to have this. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, but for sure. <laughs> if them dudes waiting on you for the but don't even ride that. Skip some buses. I'm like, or find another way to the crib. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, I don't think they going to leave it alone. Because they know that this is your area. They probably don't know where we stay at. Because Mark was finna run home. That's why I'm like, nah, you run to the park. You don't bring these people to our crib. Oh, no, no. So Mark was like, nah. He like, we could end up, you know what I'm saying, just having a lot. And then just giving some to Raymond. I'm like, no. I'm like, let's not do that. I'm like, let's actually get do his stuff back. He like, what? He like, why are you scared? I'm like, I'm not scared. I'm like... I just don't want no problems. I'm like, you see all the people? He like, we know people too. He like, you know, I got people. So I'm like, look, 
I don't want no parts of he like, but you gonna want to hit it when when I put it in the, you know what I'm saying? When I roll it up, when I put it in the dress, I'm like, no, I ain't gonna want to hit it. He like, so you telling me you chicken it out? I'm like, I'm not chicken it out. I'm like, bro, they chase. Do you see what just happened? I'm like, and what if mama found it? He like, that's why we need to find somewhere to put it. Stop being so scared. I'm like, all right, fine. I'm like, we could put it back there by the patio. I didn't need the patio. He like, all right, that's a good idea. So Mark took a handful out of there. But it was so reeking. Like, it was like reeking. It was like, and plus mama do that. So she know what it is. Mama know what that is. If she get a swift of that, a hello to that, she gonna know that somebody got some stuff in her house. So I'm like, no, just put it back. I'm like, when we need some, we'll just go out there by the patio. Now, that was the plan. That was the original plan. Boom. So I'm like, you gonna ask mom, can you come to the game? Or can you come with me? He like, yeah. So, Mark goes upstairs. I go shower. I grab my practice stuff. I grab my, you know, a little rest of my stuff, like bottle water and all that. So, Mark was like, yeah, mama said I can come. So, my dad said, hey, do you want me to come up there to your game? I'm like, no, no. I'm like, we should be okay. I'm like, I'm going to win. He like, do you want me to pick you up? Do you want me to come watch? Now, here's the deal. I didn't want my dad to come because I really wanted my mom to come. So, I told my dad, no, it's okay. And then, plus, if you got an ex, it's no biggie. Just spend time with mom anyway. So, boom. We get ready, we heads out, right? We get to our school first, and then boom. When we get to our school, we get on the bus, right? So I'm like, hey, I asked one of my buddies, like, let me see your phone. So I end up hitting up Yo-Yo. I'm like, hey, you know, the game is blah, blah, blah. I'm telling her where the game going to be at. She like, all right, I'll meet you up, though. But I'm like, all right, cool. I thought it was going to be at home, though. Now, here's the deal. After we did our practice and stuff, I didn't get to see Brianna because they practiced somewhere else. So when we got on the bus... Brianna, all the chilies, everybody on that one bus, you know what I'm saying? So Brianna and them, they in the front, you know, and the basketball players, we we kind of like in the back. So Brianna just looking, looking at me kind of like with the side eye. So I'm looking at her, but I'm like rolling my eyes. So we all talking. So they're like, dang, what's on your neck? What's on your neck? I'm like, man, nothing, nothing's on my neck. You know what I'm saying? Boom, we make it up there to, to, the, to the other school. We at our end, we're practicing, right? So Brianna walks past and she like, you look nice. I'm like, thanks. I'm like, you look nice too. She's like, I'm really sorry. I'm like, why would you try to take my money? I'm like, you just hurt my feelings. I'm like, I thought you actually really liked me. She's like, I do, but you hurt me. You hurt my heart, Rashawn. You know what I'm saying? And when she said that, I was like, but that wasn't like not my plan. You feel me? So her cheerleading coach was like, hey, you know, come over there. So they finished doing their routine. Now, boom, one of my buddies that I asked to use their phone, they was like, hey, here yeah. i'm like who is this like you give me your phone but it was yo yo she like hey i'm here i'm like oh oh i'm like i'll meet you so i'm like telling my coach like hey i'm like i need to let somebody in so he's like hurry up because the game finna start so i hurried up i ran out and i met yo yo and yo yo came in and then she sat down like but kind of like by a bench area where our team was at and so <laughs> brianna when she saw that that really like upset her you could tell her whole face because she was like light like light bright her whole face just went red so brianna just looking but she looking at me and i'm like all right let me not make eye contact now the game started boom i'm in i'm bust a few shots it's a good game but we end up happening to lose that game okay we lost that game about four points now the game is over i go grab my stuff yo yo is out there waiting on me so yo yo just standing like outside her car so I come out, Mark comes out. I'm like, yo, she like, why you didn't win that game? I'm like, look, I don't know. I'm like, only hit nine points, you know what I'm saying? So we just talk. She like, it's still a good game. You'll get them next time. I'm like, she like, but you already know. I got something nice for us. So Mark like, hey, we got something nice too. So she like, all right, we can, you know what I'm saying? You know, do it in the car. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just had a Zaza in the car. So Brianna coming out like, really? You got really, really, really high standards. Huh, coming to somebody else's boyfriend's basketball game? So yeah, you're like, who's she talking to? I'm like, Brianna, don't start now. Brianna's with the girl with the scar. 